I think we'll hear chaps and chap it's game chap and birdie here. Yes. yes indeed, Vareos, and I would say we are now reporting on here what is arguably the biggest news Minecraft ever seen, and yes, that's right, even bigger than our last news report, which was also the biggest, you know. Yes, that was big. Yes. Yes, we most certainly are, old chap, yes indeed. You see, Microsoft, now as good as own Minecraft. That's right, old boy. Indeed, we are talking here on the table, Fedeos, a finalised deal between Mojang and Microsoft. That is that Microsoft are going to acquire Mojang AB of Sweden for the sum of 2.5 million, no, billion oh, yes. US dollars, old chap. And that is, of course, 500 million more than we actually thought before. Most certainly, 2.5 billion as opposed to the 2 billion that was being put around before. Now, perhaps because the extra 500 million will be useful for paying the corporation and personal taxes, etc. Oh my goodness, indeed the We're tax sure. will be very severe. Well, astronomical, actually. I think. Yes, astronomical taxes perhaps, old boy, depending on how they do it. But indeed, certainly we know this deal has been finalised and what's more of it is, apparently it's going to be completed and concluded towards the end of this year. So we're talking a very soon timescale. Oh, it's as good as happened, yes. The, the hands have been shaken, as it were, the deal is done. Microsoft have made their statements, which we'll be talking about shortly. Mojang has made theirs, which we'll also be covering. But it's, it's as good as done. Microsoft now own Minecraft. That's right, of course, and we have heard from both sides of the deal officially now. This is something that came completely out of the blue for deals. I can't say anyone was expecting this. All of a sudden, within the past week, we've seen a well-established gaming company, Mojang, suddenly sold to Microsoft, and no doubt the community will have their say in that. There's going to be all sorts of reactions this way and that. But first, deal by like you said, let's start to get into the statements from the chaps themselves. Most certainly, and as you say, there's going to be a lot of reactions, because the first thing that's going to be said is, what will Microsoft do with Minecraft? Well, indeed, old boy, that's right. Uh, have they made any statements explaining to us what they're going to do? Well, both sides have said things. Now, Mojang have said in their statement, which they term as all they can say, that Mr. Notch has sold the game because it was never really his intention for it to get that big, they say. I see. Yes, he decided he, he apparently didn't want the responsibility of having a company which was so large and uh, so significant and all the you know the things that go with it, as it were, and apparently became too much for him to handle, so he sold, and that's the reason for them selling, apparently. Well, indeed, and what's in interesting is also Mr. Notch posted up a little statement on his personal blog which actually ended with him saying it's not about the money it's about my sanity. Now of course he gave a passionate closing speech and said I love you all of you thank you for turning Minecraft into what it has become but there are too many of you and I can't be responsible for something this big. In other words Fedeos Mr. Notch is saying the pressure's become just a bit too much for him. Well yes an interesting statement because of course Mr. Notch did originally leave the company that he belonged to to start his own company to promote Minecraft, but perhaps it's just become too big for him now and he can't handle it, you know, emotionally. Well, indeed, of course, you know, when you first start something like that, you've got an idea it's going to be large, but I don't think anyone could have imagined that Mr. Notch would go from what he was to a huge concern like Mojang, selling for two and a half billion. It's a huge sum, I say. So, indeed, Mr. Notch Fedeos has made the decision, and it's final, to sell the game and Mojang with it. Now, of course, as Bertie said earlier, what's going to happen to Minecraft in Microsoft's position? Well, once again, Mojang has said, Minecraft, they have said, will continue to evolve, they think, just like it has done from the beginning. But of course they've also said they don't know the specific plans for Minecraft's future yet. Hmm. Which is understandable because, no doubt, Microsoft will have its own plans what they want to do with the game, which of course we don't know yet. Yes, that's right, and of course, like we said last week, you may have to start logging in, for example, with Microsoft accounts, etc. and so forth, but can we get some official word from the Microsoft chat, old boy? Well, Microsoft has said that they respect the brand and independent spirit, to quote their words, that has made Minecraft great, and they said they're going to try to carry on the tradition of innovation to move the franchise forward. Now it remains to be seen how that will turn out. Well that's interesting old boy. Microsoft has said we're actually going to be carrying on this tradition of innovation. In other words coming up with new ideas for the game to move the franchise forward. Does that perhaps hint that they'll have for example a team of their own coders also coming up with ideas? Well we don't know but they said their investments in cloud Xbox Live and mobile technology will enable the players to benefit from richer faster worlds and to use their words again, more powerful development tools and more opportunities to connect with the Minecraft community. Oh, oh so, that, that's that's an important point oh, right is, there, yes. old chap. That is very important. That, of course, suggests that they're actually perhaps, and uh, just reading between the lines here, they might be moving the servers away from Amazon AWS and over to Microsoft's cloud servers because, of course, they've heavily invested in the cloud computing sector. Now, will this mean, of course, that you will indeed be logging in with Microsoft accounts to, to play the game Minecraft? Will it mean, uh, as they say there, that uh, you'll be playing online worlds 
builds, for example, on a permanent server? Will there be dev tools that they issue to players? In other words, things that the man in the street can actually use to interact with and change the game? Certainly it seems they've got some ideas here. Well, most certainly, and of course we don't know, but I think anyone with even a modicum of sort of foresight will see that Microsoft are going to want to get their hands on this and pour the thing into their house, as it were, oh, yes. and do it their own way. Certainly, fellas. We are going to be seeing very much, I think, a Microsoft-branded Minecraft soon. They've also said Minecraft adds diversity to our game portfolio and helps us to reach new gamers across multiple platforms. That is why we plan to continue to make Minecraft available across platforms, including iOS, Android, and PlayStation, in addition to Xbox and PC. So those of you that like to play Minecraft on the iOS, Android, and PlayStation platforms will continue to be able to do so. Yes, and of course, we mustn't forget Windows 8. No doubt they will want to do something to that. Ah, yes, that's right. Now, of course, Windows 8 being, as I said before, a closed environment, very much uh, applications have to be vetted through Microsoft, but of course, that won't apply anymore now that Microsoft effectively own Minecraft. Most certainly. Interesting point. And another interesting and rather controversial point will be what will happen with the whole bucket and EULA situation that rose up. That is a very interesting one. And of course, there was a very large fuss created and stirred up in the community over the EULA and Mojang's update on their stance thereof. But of course, now it seems that whole fuss is effectively going to be, well, out the window, old chap. Well, it'll be handed over presumably to Microsoft. And of course, I would imagine in that case, the bucket thing will basically become null and void. We must remember as well, Microsoft have a plethora of coders, etc. And a point you raised earlier about the servers, they may wish to have one server that belongs to just them, is controlled by them, and we may see, possibly, we don't know, future will tell, other servers may have to close down. Well, I don't know, old boy. Certainly, indeed, the Redmond chaps could pull anything out of the hat. Right now, anything's on the table, I think. They could say, you know, servers have to close. They could say that uh, paid servers have to close. Or they could say, no, we don't care and servers can carry on running, old boy. We, we just don't know. It's uh, very much up in the air at the moment. But certainly, indeed, Mojang, it seems now they are effectively out of the equation. The EULA situation may indeed rear its ugly head once more. And certainly, there'll be a whole new rule set coming forth from Microsoft on that point, I think. Well, of course, in time, Microsoft will no doubt introduce new guidelines for what can and can't be done with the assets, etc. Oh, I think so, yes. And I understand Uncle Bill thinks a little differently to Mr. Notch in some ways, so we'll have to see, and it may just be, that the situation turns out that things were perhaps better with Mr. Notch than Uncle Bill. Well, well I don't know, but I certainly once again time will tell on that point. Oh, yes. But indeed, I understand it also that uh, Mr. Notch apparently some of the EULA stress was uh, quite getting to him, I think, old chap. It was getting to him, yes, indeed, but I think that's been firmly put on Uncle Bill's shoulders now, and I think he has rather broader shoulders. Uh, well, uh, yes. I, I think Miss Notch is going to be slapping, um, uh, shall we say, you know, these cocktails on the beaches, old chap, from now on, it seems. But, uh, so, just coming back to Mr. Notch. Now, of course, there will, of course, be a restructuring, perhaps a shuffling and a shake-up at Mojang, inevitably, with any acquisition. But what is going to become of Mr. Notch himself? Uh, now, Mr. Notch has said in no uncertain terms that he is leaving, he is out. Goodness me, Fidel. Oh, yes. So I dare say we are bidding a farewell to Mr. Notch. He has finally hung up his hat, as it were, and he's on his way, you know. Well, yes, quoting from his blog and the title thereof, he says, I'm leaving Mojang. Yes, indeed, there you have it, Fidel. Mr. Notch is actually hanging up his hat for the last time he's leaving and stepping out. Now, of course, Fidel, this brings us to the point of what might happen to the rest of the Mojang chaps. Well, no doubt it's a question some people will ask. From what we can gather, they think that it's likely that they will stay for a while, which is of course possible. Now this is not official, but seeing in the past how large companies have worked, it is very likely that after a time they will start to prune and add as they feel fit. That's quite possible, old chap. I think uh, certainly that there will be a, uh, a certain stripping of the company by Microsoft. I, I don't necessarily think things are going to stay the way they are. Of course, Mojang now effectively becoming Microsoft's property. I think they're going to move in and perhaps make some adjustments as they see fit. And uh, as you say, they're perhaps adding in some certain stuff after removing ones here and there, and of course we don't know what results that process might have over time, but I certainly would hope that uh, people like, for example, Mr. Jeb would stay on for a long time, you know. I would imagine Mr. Jeb and similar high-profile coders are, are, well, I would think, fairly safe, I would imagine. I, I would hope so, but certainly Mr. Jeb's done an awful lot for the game, and uh, I'm certainly. sure he deserves a position there, old boy. Oh, yes. But my word fails to sum up, there you are, Microsoft are indeed buying Mojang, Ms. Notch has given us his farewell, and... Uh, oh, wait, does that mean that we can't say... Mr. Notch anymore? Oh, oh no. Well, uh, we'll have to 
say Mr. Gates. Come on, old chap. Mr. It's... Gates, you know, well, Mr. Gates said today that he doesn't have, have to say... snapshot. He doesn't have to say ring, old boy. Is it Mr. Notch? Mr. Notch, I mean... say Mr. Notch anymore. But then why? about gerbils? No, no, the, you never told me about Jimmy's gone no, and left and it. didn't put gerbils Mr. in the Notch game. Mr. Notch does not like gerbils, old chap. We know this. We're not supposed to put them in. Bertie, would you mind, old boy? I have to get with Mr. Gates about this. I must say, in all seriousness, thank you, Mr. Notch, for Minecraft, for bringing us that. And we do very much wish you a happy future, whatever you're going to do, I think. I think. Or retirement. He's well, called retiring early. Whatever it's going to be, I say, he's certainly... With a pot of money. He's certainly... With no gerbils. Very well for himself there, indeed. Yes. But this has indeed been Game Chef and Bertie, bringing you the latest news on Mojang, yes. Minecraft, Microsoft, and Notch. Thank you, I'm sure. I'm going to call to see you once more the next exciting idea, I say. Excellent.